Welcome, welcome. Hey, today we're looking at a brand new tweezer LCR style that's inductance, capacitance, and resistance. Yes, these tweezers can come in uber handy. Today, the ZT MD1. Big shout out to Zoe Zotek. Thanks so much for sending the ZT MD1 in for this review. Thank you. I said it already. The Zoe ZT MD1 in the lab today. Oh my gosh, these LCR tweezers are gonna be something. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. If you recall this past spring, we had Julie from Zotex Zoe here in the Keep On Testing lab. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. She is such a great person to talk to, full of knowledge, full of everything Zotech. Boy, she's an amazing resource. During that review slash interview, she did a, a little lowdown about Zoe Zotech, what the differences are. And uh, yeah, if you want to check it out, check it out. Link is in the description below. Get a pretty nice carrying case as well with the LCR tweezers, um, zipperized. And it is a hard case, not a soft one. So good protection for your LCR tweezers. Also, of course, you get your charging cable, USB-A to USB-C, and a tiny little user manual with all the details for functionality. What don't you get? Well, you don't get any batteries because this has a rechargeable lithium battery. Booyah, awesome. Charging could be simpler, plug it in. Takes about an hour and a half, two hours to come to a full charge. Uh, red LED indicates it is in charging mode. By the way, you cannot test uh, with your tweezers while they're charging, so don't even try. Hey, actually you can turn it on and charge, but not recommended because you're definitely going to have interference on your test measurement signal. Here you can see I'm running the Zoe version 1.5 of the firmware. Highly recommended to upgrade it as soon as you can. I've got the upgrade firmware link uh, below as well as it will be on the blog. And uh, yeah, upgrade that firmware to get the most out of your LCR tweezers. It's really simple. Download the latest version of the firmware from the link in the description below and a bada boom bada bing, there you go. Now it's gonna ask you to reformat uh, the disc. That's okay, yes, click okay. It's gonna create a little partition on there and away you go. And as simple as that, within literally seconds, you are at upgraded firmware version 1.7. All right, here we've got four classic SMD tweezers. Uh, look at the difference in size. I mean, whoa, look at the difference in size. Literally twice the size. And that Unity is a behemoth, isn't it? It's huge. Also, check out the difference in display size on that miniware. Oh, man, that thing is a tiny, tiny display. So in terms of just readability and visibility, man, the Zoe got it beat by a mile. Another caveat to the big boys here, the HP or Hewlett Packard, as well as the Unity on the right, are SMD, as I said. So they're incapable of measuring inductance, that low inductance readings uh, you're not going to get with these two handheld tweezers. So if you want inductance, Zoe's your boy or girl. Something else that's really cool is it has the auto mode, so it's going to try and find the capacitance, inductance, or resistance automatically without you having to switch ranges. Let's try it first of all here with a 100 ohm precision resistor, shall we? And as you can see, 99.97 ohms. Oh, yeah. You can get some different tweezer tips for your Zoe, uh, different options depending on the vendors you're choosing. This one didn't come with any other tips, but yeah, you can get them if you want. Already right, gonna have a little head to head tete a tete. We got the incredibly versatile Sanwa going against the little Zoe. Oh my gosh. By the way, the standard unit of inductance is known as the Henry. Because the Henry is such a large unit, many inductors are measured in smaller uh, sizes, such as the Milla Henry and the Micro Henry. Today we're looking at four inductors here, and these are 
Miller Henry's. Actually, it's only three because one of them is toast. All right, let's get started. We're going to start off with the Zoe with that one Miller Henry inductor. Here we go. I'm going to leave it in auto mode, and that frequency should be about one kilohertz. And here we go in auto mode. Not a problem at all for the Zoe. Coming in at 1.021 millihenries. Oh, it was. There we are. Okay, now we're going to try the same thing with our Sanwa. It also has that auto mode, which is really great. And that's coming in. Look at that. Just under one millihenry, 999 microhenries. Let's face it, 1.02 or 999 microhenries, they are both uber close. And by the way, the Zoe is much cheaper than the Sanwa. Next up, we have a 2.2 millihenry. Coming in at 2.1. Perfecto. Now let's try the Sanwa. Interesting, that sound was not quite as fast, is it, at getting that uh, reading? And finally, there it is. There it was. 2.063. So 2.063 versus 2.1. Oh, once again, so close, so close. In fact, I'd say the Zoe won that one. Finally, we're going to do that 4.7 millihenry inductor. Coming in at 4.56. Let's compare that up against the Sanwa. And the Sanwa's coming in at 4.49. Isn't that interesting? Wow. Now these are both sharing the same test frequency of one kilohertz to keep things uh, even Steven. So wow, I can't believe it. That little Zoe actually bested the Sanwa for some crazy reason. Whoa! It can change that frequency. Lots of functionality here. Also have a continuity mode as well, which is kind of unusual for an LCR meter, but hey. Kinda cool. Pretty loud too. Cool it, Buster, cool it! Check out these gold-plated uh, nickel tips. Man, oh man, look at that. Very nice, very sharp as well. Get into the uh, nitty gritty on those boards. Always good. And the fact that they're pointy helps because sometimes, of course, you get that residue on uh, components and you gotta dig in there and get in there really good to get a reading. Still have to check out a, a low-value capacitor. Coming in at around 290 picofarad, just under. So having that auto mode is really good, really handy. Saves you from having to go into the menu and change it manually all the time. Hey, in terms of using this to illuminate those diodes, LEDs, not nah, forget it, that is not what this meter is for. Yeah, can't do any, but hey, that's okay. Can I ever do a regular diode? But LEDs, not going to happen. All right, itty bitty teardown time. Here we go. Look at that. There is our 500 milliamp power, 3.7 volt, tiny lithium rechargeable battery. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. Look at that. That is soldered directly onto the PCBs, you can say. So there's no uh, two pin cable connector, what have you. Just soldered directly in, which eh, makes a lot of sense considering everything else. Look at the tips of those tweezers coming right into the main board like so. And they are soldered, soldered big time. And oh, there's the screen, that OLED screen. Beautiful, 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 gorgeous. Look at that, absolutely sweet. All right, let's go back on the other side for a second, shall we? I know I should have turned it off, but I just thought, hey, why not? Unfortunately, that main IC is got schmutz all over it. Yeah, but I uh, cannot get anything in there. I, I dug a little deeper to no avail, but here we go. Basically, uh, usual suspects, your MOSFETs, transistors, uh, what have you. There's our USB-C charging port as well. 
Uh, good job all in all. Nice clean PCB. I likes what I see. And check out those buttons. Really, really well done. Uh, nice attention to detail, Zotek Zoe, as always. Yeah, sweet. Already gonna put everything back together? Come back with my closing thoughts. Oh wait, there's more! Almost forgot to mention, look at that OLED display. It's in there with a ribbon cable ever so gently attached. Oh, love it. Okay. Closing thoughts on the Zoe ZT-MD1 tweezers. Oh man, this is a home run. Yeah, these things are great. Not only are they well made, but they perform exemplary. These things put head to head with the Sanwa and they stood their ground. Awesome. Not only that, but that OLED display is gorgeous. So easy to read. Doesn't matter inside, outside. This is one perfect looking display. The fact you have multiple frequencies is a bonus. Depending on the type of uh, component you're testing, it's always nice to have that control. That being said, this thing performed awesome. I mean, I just can't say too much bad about it. It's, one of the downers is the LED testing, but hey, let's face it, you're not gonna use it for that, right? No, use a multimeter instead. Use this for that low level inductance capacitance resistance testing SMD style. That's what they're made for. Hey, the continuity feature is neat, maybe novelty as well. Is it really gonna come in handy? I don't know, maybe it will, but uh, it's always nice to have it aboard. No end of the day, there's nothing bad to say about these tweezers, and for the price, they perform phenomenal. The Zoe ZT-MD1 LCR tweezers get a resounding 4.5 out of five stars. Yeah, these things rock. If you haven't got a pair, get them. What are you waiting for? Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.